For the candy apple soap I will pipe some leaves on top, therefore I prepare my piping bag beforehand. For colorant I will use Really Red Pigment by Nurture Soap. It's already premixed with a lightweight oil. I also have other deep red micas in case I need to add some to get a nice apple type of shade. For fragrance I opted for Frosted Candy Apple from Scent Perfique and I already measured it out in a glass container. It's always good to do so, so you don't forget. This is a disposable piping bag and I will use a leaf tip. I have two. I will need this bigger one for this project today. So I'm going to cut the bag according to the size of the tip. And then add it to the bag. Twist it and turn it towards my hand, just like so. And then go ahead and place it in a pitcher. So once I'm ready to fill the bag, the batter doesn't drip. The oils and the lye solution are at about the same temperature, meaning that we can now combine them. I will get it to emulsion with the help of a stick blender. I like to have everything ready on my soaping table, so that I don't have to leave suddenly and search for things and so forth. And everything that helps me minimize confusion is a win like this spatula rest over here. I made another behind the scene video of the making of this video where you get to see my preparations and the more relaxed and less manicured version of my process. I have different options that I'm gonna show you. And I'm not quite sure yet, so I have this. These types of videos are available for my patrons. Otherwise, you will find all links to ingredients and tools that I'm using or recommending linked down below. Since we are going to pipe some leaves on top of the soap, I'm splitting off a small portion so I can color it differently. In goes a bit really red pigment, I can always add more later. I clearly need more colorant as this one is not vibrant enough. I will also add some of this sangria mica to make it a bit deeper. Micas can be added directly to the soap and then mixed with the stick blender. I'm super happy with this shade and at this point I'm going to add the fragrance. It smells amazing, like a sour apple candy. I usually just hand blend my fragrances with the spatula to avoid the soap getting too thick. Now we are ready for the pour. Here is the wooden mold with the silicone liner inside, ready to go. I'm pouring the entire red portion into the mold and as you can see it's already nice and thick. Let's now go ahead and prepare the green part for the leaves. I'm using Harlequin Shimmer Mica from You Make It Up. As you can see the batter is already quite thick which is great for the piping consistency. Let's give it a stick blend and wait a little for it to be really thick enough to pipe. 
I do have a separate video on different types of piping techniques and tips and tricks around piping that I will leave down in the description for you to check out. In the meantime, I try to create a crease across the soap to mimic the part where the apple stems is attached, if that makes any sense. You will notice some markings along the soap mold to indicate where the soap is going to be cut with the multi bar cutter, so I know where to place the embeds. In the meantime, our green portion is at piping consistency and I'm going to transfer this to the piping bag. We are ready to go, so I'm going to try piping some leaves across the soap mold. I'm not a specialist for piping of leaves and flowers though. I will be happy if the leaves are going to be recognizable at all. Okay, this is not so bad. These are stems that I made out of a small rebatch soap and then I formed it into some apple stems. Now I think I'm going to add one more leaf to the other side of the apple to add some balance and color, but also because I have too much batter left over. Now the only thing left to do is to wait until tomorrow and see how it turned out. It's the next day. I removed the wooden frame to find the silicone liner that releases very easily and smoothly. The soap is also firm enough and ready for the cut. I'm going to try my multibar cutter and see if the cut would keep the integrity of the design on top. I can already see that it doesn't and I don't want to compromise it. Therefore, I will change it to the single wire cutter so I have a better control where to cut in order to keep the leaves and the stems centered and in one piece. I really love the color and how the bars turned out in general. I am going to stamp this right after. I place my acrylic stamp on the desired place and then I give it a light tap with my rubber mallet. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen where you will find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!